Hi, I'm Michelle and welcome to our stretching today. I'm going to show you some stretches to help you improve your stride length as you walk. So I'm coming to you from beautiful Raby Bay Harbour here in Queensland and we've just been allowed out so I thought it'd be really nice to come outside and to show you a little bit of our surrounds. All right, let's start with some nice rotations through our back. So we're going to turn around side to side and swing through the lower back. And this is a little channel, so we often get little boats coming through here. So you might feel, see some little boats coming through. There's people walking around me, dogs, it's really nice. We're allowed to go out and have picnics at the moment, so it's a lovely time for us. Swing your arms, get that lovely rotation through the back. A couple more, that should feel really nice through the low back. So your back has to move when you're walking, your back needs to rotate freely for your stride. And just a couple of stretches for our arms as well. Open up through the chest. Keep the knees soft. Out and back, you can bring the arms a little bit higher if you like to. And taking it back down. All right, let's get into our stretches. So we're gonna start side on to the bench. So if you can take yourself side onto the bench, that would be great. And I'll meet you there. Okay, so just start by standing side onto the bench, back of the bench and you can swing that closest leg forward and back. So you keep your supporting knee just slightly soft, keep your chest raised, don't extend the back leg too far back, you don't want to hyperextend your back, but you just want to get a nice stretch, and you can see how this will improve the stride through the front, stretching in through the back as well. And same thing on the other side, just going to turn around, again swinging forward and back, chest is nice and tall, so you're stretching out through the front of the hip when you take your leg back, and through the back and the glute as you take your leg forward. Do a couple more there. And let's hold it there. Okay, we're in a nice position now to do a lunge. I'm gonna take my left leg forward and my right leg right back. Now what I want you to do wherever you are is to tuck your bottom underneath. So tuck your pelvis under this way. We're stretching out through the front of this hip. So as you lean further forward, you should increase the depth of that stretch there. Now you can either hold onto your bench if you need to, or you can take that arm high and actually stretch across. So it's your choice. Whatever you'd like to do there, whatever feel, feels comfortable. And if you can't feel the stretch well enough through the front of the hip, take that leg back a little bit further and take the arm down. Let's repeat the same thing on the other side. So right leg's forward, left leg's back, Nice big lunge there, again you're tilting the pelvis under and leaning forward. Again, either hold onto the bench if you need to, or you can take the left arm up high and you can tilt across as well. So that stretches the deep hip flexors, the muscles that actually swing the leg through. And these muscles need to be flexible as well if you have a good stride length when you're walking. Okay and coming down. Our next stretch is for our hamstrings, for the back of our thighs, obviously you need to be able to step out well. So we're taking the right leg out in front. I like to take the toe down to the ground so that the stretch doesn't affect the nerves in the back. Keep your knee just slightly soft and bring your belly down towards that thigh. That's your hamstring stretch. So taking it down, try to breathe out. Now you can hold these stretches for 10 to 30 seconds, say if you're a younger adult. And if you're a mature adult, over 50, 60 years of age, then you might like to hold the stretches for 30 to 60 seconds each. And you can do them a couple of times. And let's repeat the same thing on the other side. So these stretches obviously should all feel comfortable. You just take them to the point of where you feel the stretch and don't bounce through the stretch. So again, you can see I've got my toe pointed down. I've got this left knee slightly bent and all of my weight is on the right leg. Again, taking the navel and belly down towards that thigh. So I'm really stretching in through that hamstring and the chin can come down too. So the neck should be in a nice alignment as well. And really feeling a good stretch through that hamstring. And coming back up. All right, we're going to go into our calf stretch. So let's take the right leg back again one more time. It's great, isn't it? We haven't had to really move position much. Right leg back, push the heel down into the ground. Now this is for the large calf muscle at the top here, the gastrox. Pushing down, so you take your bottom forward and push your weight down through that back heel. So drive the weight down 
And now, to stretch deeper into the calf and into the Achilles tendon further down, bend that back knee down, but keep the heel on the ground. So keep pushing the weight down through the heel and bend the back knee down. And you should feel that stretch down lower now into this soleus muscle and also into the Achilles tendon. That should feel pretty good. And we'll repeat that on the other side. So left leg's coming back, push the heel right down to the ground. Again, if your bottom's out, you're not gonna get nearly as an effective stretch. So bring your bottom forward, take it into the lunge, stretch down, push the heel down into the ground. And now just gently lower that knee down towards the ground to get deeper into that calf too. Okay, and coming back up. Now our last stretch is our glute stretch. This can be done standing. So it can be done in this position if you haven't got anywhere to sit down or I'll demonstrate in front of the, the bench here so that you can see me doing it sitting down. Okay, so take your right leg up. And the idea is to try and get this shin parallel to the ground. So sit tall and then apply some gentle pressure to the thigh and turn the knee out as you sit tall. That's gonna stretch in through the right glute. So that gives a really good stretch. Some deep muscles in there. This is a lovely stretch for, for the glutes. And relax. And the other side, again, stay sitting tall. Left leg comes up, turn the leg out. And feel that stretch into the right buttock. And let's take it down. You should be just about ready to walk now. Coming up into standing, and let's finish with some nice shoulder rolls up and around. Big breath in, let it go. And once more, big breath in, let it go. Have a great walk today. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.